Okay, in this video, I want to take a look at a uh, throw from Ryan Krauser. This is from his YouTube channel. Just uh, some practice throw. I want to point out a few things that I'm seeing. Let's take a look at this in slow motion. All right. What I, what I like about this is it's a uh, unique angle from uh, the top here. The camera's moving slightly, so it's got to be a drone. All right, so the first thing I want to discuss is coming out of the back. He won't turn his uh, right knee and his right foot to 9 o'clock. You'll see that his, uh, he's actually driving everything toward 12 o'clock forward. Okay, just before the foot comes off. And now the foot's coming up. You can see he's not, he hasn't turned to heel out. He's, and the knee is still going forward. Okay. You can see he still hasn't uh, turned everything. He's keeping his knee separated here. So he's actually driving that knee outside the circle and around. Okay, isn't uh, till really right here that he's facing nine o'clock with that right. So you can see how far apart the knees are. Okay. Next thing I wanted to point out is uh, just an observation. The uh, action of the pulling of the left arm and how it works together with the right leg. They stay 180 degrees apart. Okay. Until he gets to the left arm out to... Uh, three o'clock then he'll stop it I think when he stops it it creates this uh, impetus I guess this reaction from the right side you can see uh, right here he's he stopped the left arm right here and they uh, I like the analogy of like a fishing rod so by stopping it then the momentum is transferred to the right side but also, he stops that left arm for about two frames. And then he's, he's starting to bring it inward with the shoulder. And that's countering this uh, right leg, which is hooking inward to the middle. From this, uh, from this angle, you can also see it's... Uh, seems to be working with the left leg too since the the hips and the left foot and right work together as a as one okay you can see as he's bringing the left arm in the left foot and the uh, right leg the right knee turn inward okay so the next thing is right here You've got the uh, left leg going this way, and you've got the right foot and knee heading the same direction. Okay, I talked about this in a, uh, another video I posted earlier uh, about the uh, keeping the secret, you know, keeping the knees together, facing the same direction. You can see from this view really well how he does that. Okay, go to the next slide. I'll uh, move these arrows. Grab a hold there, right down the knee. Put this one at the heel, up to the toe. Okay, so you can see the arrows again, and the knee, right knee, left knee, both face in the same direction. What people do is, I see a, long, a lot of young throwers, they'll uh, leave the ground with that push off of the left foot, and it'll be facing backwards because they're waiting too long. So. If you get this foot off quickly, with the leg still bent, you'll keep those knees facing the same direction. And that's what you're really, from what I'm seeing in these top athletes, what you really are trying to do. So you're not leaving a uh, left leg behind. So both knees and feet are facing basically the same direction. Uh, you'll see that here in this third frame too. Okay. 
right down there. You can see how these arrows line up. Okay. So real important. That's how fast that left leg has to move. It's like a record player. It's coming around the outside, but it has to go just as fast as the foot, which is the uh, inside of, well, for those of you who remember record players, uh, the right uh, foot turning from the inside. Okay, so that left has to be really moving fast. Here, take a look uh, at the full speed of that uh, left leg action from the, from the back here to the front. Watch how fast it is. It's a blur. Uh, I'll take us to full speed here, right here. Okay, okay. Watch the left foot there and there. That's that's fast. It's just whipping around. Like I said, like if it's a record, the uh, right foot is landing and just turning in a circle in a small uh, diameter here, small radius. But the left has to to keep up with it. Has to move extremely fast because it's got to cover a lot more distance. Okay? Because you saw both knees are facing the same direction, so they're covering the same uh, around the circle, I guess the arc length. But here it's much shorter on the inside, but the outside left has to cover a much greater distance, so it has to move a lot faster. Okay. All right, the next thing I wanted to point out was right here. So we've got the left foot, knee in line at uh, with the chest here at three o'clock basically. So after this, you'll see frame by frame, now the left is moving faster than the shoulders. So he's getting his lower body out around ahead of the upper body. You see it on the next frame, even more. Now this left knee and foot are facing 12 o'clock, you can see his upper shoulders are almost still haven't moved very much. They're still almost here at uh, facing 3 o'clock. Let's go back a couple frames and see that again. See the shoulders facing this way at 3? Go two frames, see that they've barely moved. But you can see how far this has moved from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock. It's a, a lot of speed on that lower body. And then just as the left foot lands, you can see the knees out here facing maybe 10 o'clock and the uh, chest, shoulders, pr pretty much at 12 o'clock. So it's really generated a lot of torque by getting that lower body ahead. Okay, and that's by holding it, the upper body back, the shoulders back. You'll see the shot barely moves. It's basically rotating around that shot. I think that's all I had. The action of the, uh, well, so you got the action of the left arm and right leg coming around, then working together here, right leg, left leg, working together with the left arm, and then as the left arm goes to the front, here, you'll see it work with the left leg. Left leg's coming down and around, left arm's coming out. So the left arm is out about here when the left uh, toes touch down. And now from this point, you'll see the uh, left arm work with the right, uh, right knee, right leg as it rotates forward. See that? Left arm is very important. The uh, the timing and how it works together with the uh, other limbs. Just a real fast acceleration right here. The left arm pulling down and, and back, and that right foot and that right knee turning to the front. Okay, that's all I had. I'm gonna post a link to this uh, video from Ryan Krauser's. Uh, YouTube channel in my description. Thanks.